So what I want to cover in this video is showing you how to take a document library in one SharePoint site, create a template that also includes all of the content, all of the files, and then basically take that into a completely separate SharePoint site and then create a new document library based off that. So what we've got here in blue, this is our source um, SharePoint site. You'll see that I have a document library here already in place that has a number of documents and it has a um, customized field here called customer. Over here this is my destination site in pink. You'll notice that if I have a look at the site contents I don't see any documents or document library um, exposed as yet. So again what I'll do is I'll go back to my source and I've gone to my document library so I need to create a template. So the first thing I need to do is select the library tab and then go across to the right hand side and select library settings. Now when I get to library settings what we'll see here is the option here to save a document library as a template which is what I'm going to select. So I'm going to give the um, name of the file something simple like doclib and I'm going to call this migrated um, doclib just so I can uh, identify it easily and then in this case if I want to take the content which I do um, I just select this box. Now if I just wanted to take the structure with none of the files inside I just uncheck that but in this case I want to take the whole document library including the files and the content. So I select that and go OK. It'll take a minute obviously to package all of that up into a single file. When it has done that it will put it into the list template gallery which it has done. So we simply click on that link and you'll see I'm taken to the list template gallery for this site collection and you'll see here's my doclib and what I can do now is if I click on the hyperlink which is, is its name you'll see that it wants to now save this uh, STP file somewhere so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this somewhere that I will be able to um, get it later so I've already done that once so I'll just overwrite what I've got there so I remember it's in downloads okay so it's now basically downloaded that to our doclib so if I go into my file system and have a look in my C drive and find my downloads what you'll see here is here's my doclib STP file now what I need to do is upload that into the destination so I swap across to my destination and what I'll need to do is basically upload that uh, template into the list uh, template gallery here in this completely separate site collection. So to do that, I obviously need to be an administrator. Uh, select the cog up here and basically go into site settings. Now in site settings under web designer galleries, you'll notice here's the option here for list template. So I select that. And at the moment, there's obviously no uh, list templates in here. So what I need to do is I need to go to files to um, expose the options, select upload a document, and then we simply go in and browse to the location of our uh, template, so doclib.stp, and we go OK. And then we select to upload that into our uh, document library. So, okay, so I'm just going to put a note here um, from another location okay and then I save and you'll now see that that appears in this uh, new location now that it's in my site collection in the new site if I go back to my team site go to my site contents and now select to add an app right what we'll see is if we scroll down the list here we should see an item here that matches the uh, item the list template that we just brought across so it's probably maybe on the second page so don't forget um, to also uh, scroll across to that and you'll see here here it is here migrated doc lib so if I select that okay so I'm going to call this for example new documents alright and then go create so this will create a new document library in the destination location and if we actually go in and have a look at it, we will see that not only has the document library been created, it also has all the same content and also has the customer field in here. So again, if we go across here and have a look, so 
So let's go back uh, a step here and just confirm that we have exactly the same in the source and in the destination. So we go back to our source here on the left in blue. So here's our document library that we took the template from and here's our destination here on the right in our new um, completely different site collection. So again, completely different URLs, completely different site collections. So that's a quick and easy way to uh, move data between two completely separate site collections in SharePoint. Again, the way that you do that uh, is basically go to the location, go into the library, select library settings, and then select the option that comes up to save the document as a template. Make sure that you click the option to include the content if you want. Once it's done that, you then go into the site template library and then download that file and then simply upload that file in reverse to the new location and then you can deploy it. So that's how easy it is to move data between two separate site collections using the ability to template an option in SharePoint. Once again, thank you very much for watching.